Hello friends, I'm Dr. Anil Nashinge. Welcome to this video. Friends, in this video you are going to learn about how to prepare a culture media. So the culture media, they are the essential nutrients which we supply for the growth of the microorganisms and the culture medium it contains all the essential nutrients and the raw materials. Because in the microbiology laboratory we grow the microorganisms, we cultivate the microorganisms and for the growth of microorganisms, for the cultivation of the microorganisms into the laboratory, we have to provide them with an essential nutrients. So the bacteria, they vary in their nutritional requirements. So the nutritional requirement of all the microorganisms, it is not the same. So they will vary with the type of nutrition which are required. Microorganisms, they need carbon sources, they need nitrogen sources, they need various elemental requirements and we have to supplement, we have to provide all these essential ingredients so that the microorganisms will grow by utilizing all these ingredients. And then we can grow these microorganisms in the laboratory. So there are different types of the culture media. Depending on the state, the culture media, they are classified into two types. That is solid medium, liquid medium and there is also semi-solid medium. The broth, it is called as the liquid medium and the solid medium it is containing solidifying agent that is agar and another one is the semi-solid medium. The nutritional requirement of different bacteria it is different and a single culture medium it will not be sufficient to grow all the kind of microorganisms because the different microorganisms they vary with respect to their nutritional requirement and we have to made uh, we have to design the culture medium in such a way that so that culture medium it will provide all the essential ingredients so that will allow the growth of all kind of microorganisms and the culture medium should be provided for the growth of microorganism and in this video we are going to learn about how to prepare a culture medium so first of all we are going to discuss about the preparation of nutrient broth how will you prepare the nutrient broth so we'll see how to prepare the nutrient broth so friends, in the market, a ready-made available nutrient broth is supplied by the suppliers. We can get it from the market. And this nutrient broth, it is a type of liquid medium. And here we can see that it is a readily procured, ready-made available nutrient broth. And that nutrient broth, it is used for the cultivation of microorganism. So the nutrient agar and uh, nutrient broth they are a general purpose nutrient media and they are used for the cultivation of a wide range of microorganisms so a different types of bacteria and a wide range of non fastidious microorganisms they can be cultivated into this nutrient broth and nutrient agar because this nutrient broth and nutrient agar it contains all the ingredients so whatever the essential ingredients they are present, they are supplied by this culture medium. So it contains peptone, it contains beef extract, it contains NACL, it contains agar and we have to uh, add the, all these ingredients into appropriate amount of the distilled water. So today we are going to see how to prepare this culture medium and it is an excellent culture medium. It is found to be one of the ideal and the excellent culture medium for the growth of a wide variety of microorganism. Because uh, essential, all the essential ingredients, they will be supplied by that culture media and we can grow this microorganism. So we are going to see how to prepare a nutrient broth and how to prepare uh, the nutrient agar. This nutrient broth and this nutrient agar, they also use for the isolation of microorganism for the cultivation of microorganism, for the maintenance of the microorganism and they can be used for the enumeration of microorganisms which are present in here, which are present in the food, present in the dairy product, in the sewage and in the different sample we can uh, enumerate the microorganism. So let's see how the nutrient agar and nutrient broth it is prepared. So first of all we will see the preparation of nutrient broth. The nutrient broth and nutrient agar they are of the same composition only the nutrient broth it is the medium which is uh, devoid of agar so the agar 
it is used as a solidifying agent it is not added into this nutrient broth so it lacks the solidifying agent that is agar and in the nutrient agar there is addition of agar so agar it is used as the solidifying agent so let's see the procedure of nutrient broth friends now we'll see the procedure of how to make the nutrient broth so as i told the nutrient broth it is the readily procured from the market we can get the ready made powdered form of the nutrient broth and uh, we can directly prepare that nutrient broth so on to this nutrient broth that is the type of liquid medium so we can see there is a label that is of the company high media which is the standard and uh, there is the label and that have shown the directions for the preparations of the nutrient media so here we see we will see the composition of nutrient media so nutrient media nutrient broth it is consist of the peptones sodium chloride beef extract or yeast extract and then uh, we have to uh, add 1000 ml of distilled water ph should be adjusted to 7.4 and the nutrient broth it is containing all the essential nutrients it contains the source of carbon the source of nitrogen and all the uh, essential nutrients they are present into this nutrient broth so we'll see the procedure of the preparation of nutrient broth so here it is given that pepton 5 g sodium chloride 5 g meat extract or beef extract 1.5 g yeast extract 1.5 g and the ph we have to adjust 7.4 1000 ml of the distilled water and this is the readily available nutrient broth okay the readily available and uh, here the directions to prepare they are given so you have to suspend 13 grams in 1000 ml of distilled water and you have to heat it to dissolve all the contents completely and then you have to dispense it into tubes or flask as per our requirement then we have to sterilize it by autoclaving and after sterilization at 120 degrees celsius that is for at uh, 15 lbs pressure we have to keep it for sterilization for 15 minutes and then we have to cool it and then we have, we can use it so that is the readily uh, available uh, nutrient broth bottle so we can uh, prepare this media uh, as per our uh, requirement so we are going to prepare 100 ml of the uh, nutrient broth and for the 100 ml we need 1.3 grams of this readily prepared uh, available nutrient broth so we can take 1.3 gram of this powder into and we add it into 100 ml of distilled water and for 1000 ml we have to take 13 grams so we'll take 1.3 gram of this powder now we are taking 1.3 gram of the nutrient broth powder so we have to weight accurately so by the digital balance we have to weight accurately and uh, we will take 1.3 grams of this powder we'll add more now we have weight accurately 1.3 gram of this uh, powder of the nutrient broth and we will add it into 100 ml of the distilled water so we will take 100 ml of the so distilled water it is very essential for the preparation of the culture medium we should not use tap water only distilled water should be used for the preparation of the uh, culture medium and then we will add we will suspend that 1.3 gram of the accurately weighed nutrient broth powder into the 100 ml of the conical flask and then we will mix it properly mix it properly so that all the ingredients it will be dissolved then after mixing we will put it onto the hot plate so we will place it 
onto the hot plate for the boiling or for the heating all the contents so we have to boil it we have to heat it for a few minutes so that all the ingredients they will be dissolved so we have placed the nutrient broth onto the hot plate to dissolve all the ingredients completely so we have to heat it while stirring it properly so that all the ingredients will be dissolved now we'll take it okay. so we have plugged a uh, plug with the cotton so we we can see that the conical flask it is labeled with the nutrient broth we have to label it we can mention the name of that culture medium and the date we can also mention the class so that labeling it is also very essential and then we have to wrap this so we have to wrap the conical flask with the paper with the aluminum foil and after wrapping then we have to place it into autoclave for the sterilization so autoclave it is the instrument which is used for the sterilization and we have to keep this culture medium into the autoclave at the temperature of 121 degrees celsius 15 lbs pressure and time period 15 minutes and uh, there will be the pro proper sterilization of the culture medium so we can sterilize all the culture media into the autoclave and after proper sterilization after a proper holding period of time then we have to remove that culture media and uh, then we have to cool it and then we have to dispense that culture media into the test tube we can uh, dispense that uh, culture media into the different flask according according to our requirement